If you're watching this video, it's because you're awesome. Here at St. Auto, we like to do an insane variety of vehicles, but this week we're concentrating on all the different generations of Corvette. This video is about the C3 Corvettes. There's also some bonus material from Corvette clubs and the previous generations of Corvettes near the end. The C3s began in 1968. The body was totally redesigned with the most attractive Coke bottle figure of any vet. Lower and wider, with the most exciting curves front and back ever seen, this iconic look would reign supreme for the next 15 years. No wonder the Beach Boys spent so much time singing about the Corvette. Let's not forget the straight back glass flanked by those amazing buttresses, a design feature that would be borrowed by many very popular cars. All this beauty did not come without a cost. First, no headroom. The seats had to be raked to full 33 degrees. If that wasn't bad enough, no elbow room. You can forget let, letting your elbow escape out the window in the summer night cruise position. There were also a list of small irritating problems in 1968. Daily driving could be like trying to live with an impulsive supermodel. The 1968 and 69 model had plenty of power despite the lack of fuel injection. The abundance of powerful engine options included L36 427 V8 with 390 horsepower for an extra $221. Or an L46 350 V8 with 350 horsepower for $131. A L68 427 V8 with 400 horsepower for $326. An L71 427 V8 with 435 horsepower for an extra $437. Or an L89 427 V8 with 435 horsepower. There were two other exciting, rare, and expensive engine options. The famous L88 427 V8 rated at 435 horsepower for $1,032. This engine certainly produced more than its official horsepower rating. Also available was the even more rare and powerful ZL1 427 Special for a whopping $3,000 extra. The 1970 models received flared fenders and many more improvements. 1970 was also the last year of high compression engines. This coupled with the fact it is a low production year makes it one of the most valuable years of the C3 generation. This was also the first year of the very popular LT1, a high revving solid lifter 350 V8 engine producing 370 horsepower and the first year of the 454 cubic inch big block. Nineteen seventy one models were virtually the same. These were the first C3s to suffer a drop in compression and power, a conflict between emissions and power that would continue to force changes. The 1972 Model C3s received the last chrome front bumpers. It was also the last to have the side fender grill, hidden wiper, and removable rear glass. What people would miss the most is the high revving LT1 solid lifter 350 V8 and the distinctive hood that came with it. Seventy-three through seventy-seven were very good sellers for GM. 
In just five years, they sold nearly as many vehicles as all 19 previous models of the Corvettes combined. 1974 was the last year of the 454 V8, and 75 was the last convertible. Ooh, the 1978 Corvette. The curvy supermodel was about to get a lot easier to live with. Still intoxicating to look at, the silver anniversary included a real glove box. Twice as much storage space behind the seats made her a little more responsible and practical. Unfortunately, having a little more junk in the trunk cost her those slim, tidy buttresses and the straight back glass. One of the most popular and desired C3s is the limited edition L82 equipped 1978 pace car. By 1983, the last of the C3 Corvettes had gained improvements to reduce drag and weight. Airflow to the radiator was increased by 50%. Even fuel injection, gone for 20 years, reappeared. It was only a throttle body injection, but it improved power, mileage, and drivability. The C3 may not be rare due to its 15 years of high production. However, as this vet matured, she improved a great deal and became so much easier to live with. Till the very end of the C3 generation, this lovely Corvette still retained her Coke bottle figure and high pronounced front curves. Still to this day, if you stare at a C3 long enough, Feel your team level rise. Here's a sample of some of the C2 and C1 Corvettes we have in our other videos.
friendly people from the Corvette Club and some of their beautiful Corvettes. my page St. Auto where you can see all of these fine vehicles and many more. our videos. Gracias para ver nuestros videos. If you watch many of our videos, you'll notice we do a wide variety of vehicles. Si esto lo vio algunos de nosotros videos, tú sabes que nosotros haga un Montón de diferentes tipos de carros. If you want us to film your vehicle, please let us know in the comments below. Si esto le gusta nosotros filmar tu auto, por favor, deja tu comentario ahí abajo después de toca de campaña y inscribirse. Gracias. Ciao. Bye bye. Here's Victor. With, to tell you about the wonderful vehicle in this video. Aquí está Victor para decirte todo sobre esto maravilloso uh, auto en el video. video. <laughs> Today's featured vehicle is a... Mm. Shelby! Today's featured vehicle Supercharged Shelby! Today's... Oh. And here's Victor to tell us about the wonderful vehicle in this... In this.